Danny O'Neill with the Roastery. I was born and raised in a small town in Iowa, and during my senior year in high school, I signed up to be a foreign exchange student. And um, so shortly after Christmas, I got a letter that said, okay, you're going to Costa Rica to live for a year. Went to high school and played basketball with my friends down there, and later in the year, I went coffee picking. And I didn't drink coffee at the time, but we were up in the mountains, and it was just, it was idyllic. It felt totally natural. And I've always really had a kind of a kinship with farmers. Farmers are the same all over the world, you know. I just love farmers, so I really love the coffee farmers. I was trying to think about what to do, and coffee was the only idea that I had. And it was in the basement of the Kauffman Foundation, actually, that I was first called an entrepreneur. And I still vividly remember that. I was thinking... Oh, that sounds good. What's that? The attributes were all the ones that I had always gotten in trouble for. Thinking outside the box, being independent, persevering, not quitting, all these things. So I started with this notion of give folks what they want, where they want, when they want, and do it better than anybody else. We can pick up the phone and talk to a green coffee broker and get coffee sent to us. And then you roast it. It's deceptively simple. I wrote out my mission statement, which is still the same. Best coffee, best roasted, fast as possible. I was scared to death. I had $17,000 and started my basement, right? But it was that fear of failure, I think, that motivated me. That's, that's what works for me. I was so afraid to fail that I just kept going. I think there's a lot of innate entrepreneurialism that the system takes out of the, out of the kids. There's this insatiable curiosity, and I think most of us have it. It it might get buried if we're introverted, but there, it's still there's this, a lot of in, in, in intense, intrinsic curiosity, spunk, spontaneity, and passion. My dad used to say, "You f- you're gonna you find what you're looking for." Um, every one of these things that I do, somehow or another, comes back and. You might, you know, some people might call it karma. Some people call it uh, all kinds of different things. But I just know that I have that old Dale Carnegie, if you help enough other people get what they want, you're going to get what you want. When I have an idea, I tell as many people as I can. I want as much feedback as I can. It's messy. So from point A to point B, I have all this mess in the middle. But all that informs that idea. And most likely it's going to kill it before I spend a lot of time and effort. I want, you know, good energy, be around smart people, and all that comes back and, you know, it fills my cup in lots of different ways.